with the debris that are collected as part of the storm and flood recovery, we like to use from the tip of the tree all the way down to the root ball, and it's best use policy when we do that. Part of this is taking root balls like this and putting them in fisheries all across Victoria. Problem with root balls being is that they're not really much good other than for mulch, and we prefer to use them in other industries across the state. So that's where that cooperation, coordination with BRV is really important, because we find projects like this that we can contribute to, and we can make each project a little bit more enhanced. These root balls are great for fishy habitats. They've come out of Hepburn Shire, and they're a great addition to Dunyak Moira. 20 years ago, a lot of the people that live in this town used to swim in this storage. When the Merrigan water treatment plant was closed down, both the 10 megalitre storage at the plant and this 50 megalitre storage became surplus and were not used. So they've just sat empty for the last 20 years. This project was about two years in the making. Golden Valley Water approached the Benunga Indigenous Fishing Club to come over and look at the site and see what sort of potential it has and we're here today doing the um, Dunyak Mora fishing project. I spoke to Yorta Yorta and they recommended that we talk to Corey Walker at Benanga and that was really the start of this project and a lot of support from within our own business. The health and wellbeing benefits would be massive within the club. Getting the community back out on country, especially around mental health issues as well and doing activities on country and getting back in the environment. We spoke around the campfire, it'd be good to set up a club for the community. I wrote about the project at uni and um, that started the club. We've got members from as far as away as uh, Portland, uh, Achuka, Moama, Shepparton, Kaiapram and uh, other regional areas as well. There's an older generation and they're absolutely wrapped to have this come back to life. The community's confident it'll start bringing people back to Merrigan. Very important to have a structure or a nest for native fish to thrive. We'll place these logs in a configuration to help the cod come in underneath so we can ambush and come out and feed and grow. We're also going to work these in with concrete pipes that we have on site. The concrete pipes will help tie the logs down when we do fill the dam and also they'll add the important fish structure. Once the dam's full then um, we can start to release the fish. Out here we've got eight concrete pipes being placed through the centre of the dam as fish structures. We've got duck nests out here on the power poles. These nests get monitored every couple of weeks to see how much activity is in the nest. This is one of our first fishing platforms for community and club members. There's going to be more placed around the pond. The Township of Merrick embracing the project, the community getting around it and also participating in joint activities. This will become a great community asset and will bring people to Merrigan for them also to learn about the Benanga Fishing Club and enjoy these uh, facilities and hopefully catch a fish. This is a great example of collaboration and what we can achieve when we work together. This is our landscape, our cultural landscape, and it's important for us to be in our landscape and do activities and most importantly get our elders to pass on that traditional knowledge practices through fishing as well.